Hello everyone, my name is Martin and welcome to my channel on which I upload Photoshop tutorials. Today I want to talk about really important matter in Photoshop about blending modes, specifically about hue, saturation, color and luminance. And understanding these blending modes might be really helpful for your future work, whether it's um, color grading, processing your landscape images, when it comes to retouching, understanding these things is very important. Before we start, I also want to invite you uh, to some of my, of my premium courses uh, because this subject was touched by me uh, in one of my recent courses, Adjustment Layers, Blending Mods and Layer Masks on Skillshare. And also I offer there some other courses like Professional Beauty, Lifestyle, Creating LUTs or Fashion, Retouching. I put the link in the description and this link provides you with the free two months trial. And during these two months, you can watch my, my videos as many times as you want and as many of them as you want. So I believe this is pretty good deal, uh, getting premium courses for free. And right now, uh, let's start. So to work with the blending modes, we actually have to work with some adjustment layers. I'm going to open uh, color balance maybe at first. Let me take this out a little bit. Also the curves, that is something that we work very often. So maybe two of them, curves, and I can go also with solid color as the last one. Hue sat solid color as the last one, once again. And maybe hue saturation we might use it as the help. So I'm going to start uh, from the color balance and I'm just gonna manipulate with this mid-tones over here. Uh, so for example, looking at the sky, at the greens here, I want to go with something opposite. So I'm going to change this completely and I'm going to switch uh, the mid-tones to the reds and highlights uh, sorry, and also yellows. So I applied some sort of orange color to the mid-tones at the moment. And as you can see, mid-tones are affected, not truly the shadows, not truly uh, the highlights that much. Actually, it's uh, quite visible on the highlights. And we had normal blending mode at first. But let me switch between that. Uh, I'm not going to use any of these blending modes. These are just contrast, brightening, darkening. We are going to go with um, working with the colors. So first, I'm going to try to go with hue. And as you can see, this image changed drastically. What happened now and how does hue works? It's altering your hues that you have in the layer below. In this case, in this layer zero. So I applied some of the red and yellow, and it altered the areas which had a lot of hue, which was, uh, for example, sky, and the areas that didn't really have too much of the hue, as you can see, it uh, pretty much uh, didn't, wasn't affected that much. Of course, it was affected, but not to this stage. And you can see this on the clouds. If I will go some other direction, as you can see, uh, there will not be really change on the sky, because we applied very similar colors. So it's strongly affecting the sky, but we have the same colors. So it's not really affecting them uh, to make the effect visible. I'm going for example with magenta, and as you can see, it did affect it strongly the sky and some other hues with magenta. What is the difference with uh, color? In this case, I could go hue with color, not comparing to saturation yet. Uh, color sort of affects everything. Uh, color doesn't uh, does not only alter the hues that you have below, but it does affect all of the image. So also, as you can see, it will be in this case strongly visible around the sky. It will be visible around the clouds and it will be visible all around the shadows. And it does not affect similar as the hue. It does not affect the luminosity, and it doesn't really affect the saturation too much, if any, it's just got into color. So compared to hue, as you can see, we only affect the hues that were visible on this image, color affects everything, 
but also that will be just about the color. And then when we switch the color to saturation, we do not really affect the hues in this case, which you can see. Uh, we kind of switching this down. We have some of the very little of uh, saturation for the yellows. And as we applied this orange color, this saturation simply um, blow up. It doesn't look healthy. And going different direction, we will affect the blues saturation much more. As you can see, once again, not affection of hues, only the saturation. So we will be affecting the colors we have and um, affecting them uh, putting maximum in not healthy ways, of course, giving a little bit less will affect the saturation. And you could see it, how does you work by hue saturation adjustment layer, as you can see, when you will be moving around the hue slider, you will be only altering the hues that you have before, be below, and saturation in this case will be affecting 100% of the saturation. And this compared quite nicely to the hue and saturation blending mode. Then, for instance, uh, going with some color on the color fill layer, I can go with hue. And as you can see, once again, we affect the areas where was the hue. When we go with color, we affect all image uh, with color, not only the areas that had uh, certain hue values, saturation, increase saturation like a crazy, and that will be probably the same amount or very similar amount as you can see, because uh, this layer has uh, probably a little bit less saturation. And coming to uh, luminosity is the last thing I want to talk about, also very important, but it's best to present this on a curve adjustment layer. Because when I go with color and switch blending mode to luminosity, what does it mean? We do not affect the colors anymore. We only affect the lights. So right now uh, in Photoshop, it doesn't see this yellow color. It only see the shadow of gray, which was nearly white, probably somewhere around here. So that's why it won't be too big of a difference. So changing between gray or even the yellow color, as you can see, the color stay the same. It doesn't make a difference. So we can operate only with the color gray. It's completely blowing up the image, but lower in opacity, we can actually see something that as we affect the lights and we have certain color of gray, the darkest point of the image cannot be darker than this certain color of gray. And it looks like some uh, weird effect, but it's actually very useful when it comes to working with the lights. So for example, when I open curve adjustment layer in this case, and let's say I want to increase a little bit of contrast. So I'm lowering the shadows here, increasing the highlights. And what is happening here, we're not only increasing the highlights, but we affect also some other elements like the color especially the saturation. So then switching blending mode from normal to luminosity, this image probably would become a little bit more desaturated because we do not affect the color anymore by just luminosity, as you can see. So if you increase the contrasts on the image and you feel it does increase your saturation, um, the best way for this would be changing blending mode from normal to luminosity, and then it will solve your issues. So this was like a quick talk. I hope you were able to follow along. Um, it wasn't like very um, solid uh, thing, but just wanted to explain you the differences between hue, color, saturation, and luminosity blending modes as quickly as possible on some simple examples. So thank you for watching. If you are new here, uh, make sure to subscribe. If you are interested in some premium courses, especially if you are interested in uh, retouching courses, make sure you check the links in the description as I am professional retoucher. Uh, you can check my website with my work. If you like what I do, if you want to do similar thing, if you want to know how to retouch images professionally, 
um, make sure um, to check what I have to offer. Thank you and speak to you next time.